Hello, hello. Hey guys, I just wanted to hop on real quick and show you about um, changing a safety razor, safety razor blade. My name is Jenny. And hey, and I blog at a domesticwildflower.com and I just wrote a post about using safety razors because when I was researching how to get out of this disposable razor trap of um, paying all this money for razors that aren't that awesome and then throwing them away, um, all the information I found was geared towards either men or towards people who want to like languish in the bathtub and spread l lather all over their legs and just take all this time and I'm not into that. I need to shave my legs and get out of the shower. So um, I wrote this post because I wanted to educate people like me who wanted to switch razors but didn't quite know how. So I have um, the safety razor. Um, I bought one that is the Merker brand and that's made in Germany and I just like I just read the reviews and I didn't choose one for ladies because I'm pretty sure they're exactly the same as the ones for men but just with pink handles. So I got one that was um, advertised uh, as being um, like good for beginners and gentle so I looked for adjectives like that and um, so I've been using it for like I don't know, like six weeks now, and I my legs are so smooth, and I have nicked them twice, to be honest. I've nicked them twice, my ankles twice. Um, one ankle, the same ankle, the ankle that I shave with my non-dominant hand, so I feel like that's something to do with it. But like, did I bleed to death? No. Hurt that bad? No, wasn't that big of a deal. So when I started, I thought for sure I would, you know, bleed to death in the shower or like cut my leg off. I thought it was gonna be this really terrible switch, but it's not. They're awesome. The quality of the shave is way better. Um, and I'm definitely never going to spend money on disposable razors that go in the garbage ever again. They're awesome. So I got the safety razor and it was like $25 on Amazon. Um, and um, I got some really great shave soap. So it's like soap that it's different than a regular bar of soap because it doesn't dissolve as fast as like a regular bar of soap and it makes it like a nice creamy layer on top of your skin. So I just grab the bar in one hand and run it down my leg and then run the razor blade up with the other hand. So I don't like lather it up with a brush like in the Wild West movies. I just like just smear a little soap on and shave. So that's how I've kind of gotten around this very time consuming kind of fun maybe languishing in the bathtub thing but that's how I do it. So I've been using the razor for like probably six weeks and um, I ordered, this is a box is, uh, sorry, Torna, but it was said Persona, that's the brand. And I got a hundred blades for $12. And I'm pretty sure that will last me the rest of my life. And I'm gonna set this down so I can show you how to change the blade. Hang on. Okay. There's one piece. There's the other. Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna save my blades that are actually really thin and flexible. I'm gonna save them in a little jar in my bathroom for to be recycled. And then I'm gonna get one of my little razor blades that come in a little cute little completely paper. I don't think it is coated with anything, just plain old paper. Paper. Grab one of these and put it uh, like that on top. And then put this guy back on and then just screw the head back on. Some of them open up, some safety razors open up differently and they're like a, uh, they're called like butterfly, kind of like a butterfly knife and they you unscrew down here. And I don't have any experience with those, but I bet they're probably just as good. It's probably just a personal preference thing. And yeah, that was it. So that's all I have to do. So I have, as far as waste goes, one cardboard box for a 100 razors that cost $12 and then a little plain piece of paper that wrapped up each razor. And I'm gonna save this, oops, the stainless steel blades 
in a little jar to be recycled, I guess, like when I'm 80 and stop shaving my lids, when I finally run out of lids. I don't know. That's going to last me a long time. And then I have a little jar for my bathroom. It's a wide mouth pint or half pint to keep my other razors in because I think I can tighten that down. And so in case my kids get to it, you know, the lid will be on so they can't get it out. But does anyone have any questions about using a safety razor? I thought that would be like a good little scope to show how it's not that big of a deal to change the blade. Um, so if you just hopped on, my name is Jenny and I blog at a domestic wildflower.com and I have a post live right now that shares everything I tried to, everything I learned about using a safety razor and you should check it out if you want a way cheaper, way better way to shave your legs. Uh, thanks.